Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the superficial baronial nerve. So I have just uh, drawn the diagram of the uh, fibula here. We know that the common peroneal nerve is uh, passing across the lateral aspect of neck of fibula. If this is a neck of fibula, the common peroneal nerve is passing across the neck of fibula. And uh, deep within this, uh, uh, under the cover of this peroneus longus muscle, uh, this common peroneal nerve divides into two terminal branches. So, which are the two terminal branches of the common peroneal nerve? It divides into superficial peroneal nerve and a deep peroneal nerve. So the deep peroneal nerve it passes into the anterior compartment. So whereas the superficial peroneal nerve is going into the lateral compartment of the leg. So, so in this video we are going to discuss about the superficial peroneal nerve which is actually the nerve of the lateral compartment of the leg. So from this diagram you can uh, know that uh, the superficial peroneal nerve is one of the terminal branches of the common peroneal nerve which is given out in the uh, region of the neck of the fibula and so you can see that uh, superficial peroneal nerve is a terminal branch of the common peroneal nerve so that is about the origin of the nerve it is originating as a terminal branch of the common peroneal nerve so if you are asked about the um, cause of the nerve so you should say the beginning so the nerve is beginning at which region at the lateral side of the neck of fibula the nerve uh, starts at the lateral side of the neck of fibula so after starting at the lateral side of the neck of fibula what happens to the nerve here uh, you have a muscle which is a muscle of the lateral compartment of the leg which is a superficial muscle of the lateral compartment of the leg that is the peroneus longus muscle so uh, the nerve is passing under the cover of this uh, peroneus longus muscle so we know that peroneus longus is here is the outline of the peroneus longus muscle So, uh, I should say that in the upper one third of the leg, it descends through the substance of the peroneus longus muscle. So, in the upper one third, what is the cause of the nerve? So, in the upper one third, it is passing through the substance of the peroneus longus muscle. You can see here. So, in the middle one third, as it comes to the middle one third, what happens? It comes between the two muscles, that is the peroneus longus muscle and the peroneus brevis muscle. So, underneath the peroneus longus muscle, we have which muscle? That is the peroneus brevis muscle. So, in the middle one third, it comes in between the two muscles. So, in middle one third, what is the course? It is between the two muscles, that is the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis so then what happens to the nerve it after uh, it that it reaches the anterior border of the peroneus brevis muscle then there is another muscle here uh, which is a consider the muscle that is the extensor digitorum longus so extensor digitorum longus that is an anterior compartment muscle yeah I have just drawn the extensor digital longus. Actually, this muscle is a muscle of the anterior compartment of the leg. So, just for understanding, I have drawn like this. That is extensor digitorum longus. So, after passing through the anterior board of the peroneus brevis, it uh, comes and lies in a groove between the peroneus brevis and extensor digitorum longus muscle. So till this region, the muscle is deep to the deep fascia. Now what happens to the muscle? So after passing between the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis, what happens? It crosses the anterior border of peroneus brevis. And lies then it lies in a groove between peroneus brevis and extensor digitorum longus 
so till this region it is deep to d fission now what happens to the no. so the next one is very important at the junction of upper two third and the lower one third so at the junction of upper two third and lower one third it pierces the d fascia and becomes superficial so after this region pierces the d fascia and becomes superficial so So that is the important part at the junction of upper two third and lower one third of the leg it pierces the d fascia and becomes superficial. Now what happens on reaching the angle joint it divides into two terminal branches that is the medial branch and the lateral branch. It terminates into medial branch and lateral branch. So that is the course of this now. Uh, the next uh, the four the next course will be discussed along with the branches here. So first of all look at the origin. It is originating as a terminal branch of the common peroneal nerve at the lateral side of the neck of fibula. And it passes in the upper one third it passes through the substance of the peroneus longus. And when it comes to the middle it lies between the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis. Then it comes into the anterior border of the peroneus brevis and comes to lie in a groove between the extensor digitorum longus and so this is the extensor digitorum longus and the peroneus brevis then at the junction of upper two third and the lower one third of the leg it pierces a d fascia and becomes superficial then on reaching near the angle joint it divides into a medial and lateral terminal branches now let us dis uh, discuss the median lateral terminal branches so, so before that uh, the two branches uh, it gives of branches to these two muscles that is it gives it is a nerve of the uh, so lateral or peroneal compartment of the leg so it is supplying these two muscles which muscles it supplies the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis muscle and as it becomes a uh, superficial it also supplies the skin over the lower uh, lateral aspect of the leg so skin over the lower lateral aspect of the leg is also supplied by this now and it also supplies uh, muscles of lateral compartment of the leg like peroneus longus and peroneus brevis so keep in that mind keep it in that in mind and we'll discuss the terminal branches and its area of supply So I can see the diagram of the leg here. This is the neck of fibula. We know that the common peroneal now it divides the leg of uh, fibula into the deep peroneal which goes into the anterior compartment of the leg and the superficial peroneal which uh, passes through the lateral compartment of the leg like this. So it passes downwards and on reaching uh, near the angle joint it divides into two terminal branches. One is the uh, medial one and the other is a lateral one so medial and lateral terminal branches so you have seen that in this region it is supplying which are uh, structures it supplies peroneus sorry peroneus longus and peroneus brevis and it is also supplying lower one third of lateral side of leg now we'll discuss about the medial and lateral terminal branches now look at the medial terminal branches so uh, the superficial peroneal now supplies uh, major areas of the dorsum of the foot except the territories belonging to the saphenous nerve the sural nerve and the deep peroneal nerve we know that the deep peroneal nerve is supplying the first in the digital cleft here and supplies the adjacent areas of the big toe and the uh, second toe here so that area is not supplied by the 
superficial peroneal nerve so we have to leave uh, area supplied by the deeper as other nerves so deep peroneal nerve is supplying the first interdigital cleft so leave that area and we know that the lateral side of the toes of foot up to the uh, little toe is supplied by the sural nerve and this region is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve so and the saphenous nerve also supplies the medial part so we have to leave these regions and all uh, the regions of the dose of foot except the territories of the sural nerve, saphenous nerve, deep peroneal nerve and uh, the plantar nerves are supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve so now what happens to the medial one so the medial terminal branches it passes like this and it divides into two dorsal digital nerves so one dorsal digital nerve it goes uh, supplies the medial side of the big toe and other dorsal digital nerve is supplying the adjacent part of the second and the third toe like this so we have to leave this area which is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve that is the first in the digital cleft uh, supplied by the deep peroneal nerve so the medial terminal branch is supplying okay, this, this is the medial terminal branch it divides into two dorsal digital nerves so one dorsal digital nerve is supplying medial side of big toe and the other one is supplying the adjoining sides of second and third toe now look at the lateral terminal branch it also divides into two dorsal digital nerves so one of which supplies the adjacent side of the third and the fourth and the other one supplies the adjacent side of the fourth and the fifth so the medial this is the lateral terminal branch of the superficial peroneal nerve so it is dividing into two dorsal digital nerves So one of which supplies the adjoining sides of third and fourth toes and the other dorsal digital nerve supplies the adjoining sides of fourth and fifth toe. So that is all about the superficial peroneal nerve. So starting at the uh, level of the lateral side of the neck of fibula and passes in the lateral compartment supplies that muscle and also supplies the lower one third of the uh, lateral side of the leg. So at the junction of the upper, upper two third and lower one third it becomes superficial and uh, it divides into lateral terminal branch and the medial terminal branch. The medial terminal branch divides into two dorsal digital nerves. One, Dorsal digital nerve supplies the medial side of the big toe and the other one supplies the adjacent side of the second and the third toe. The lateral terminal branch again divides into two digit, dorsal digital nerves. One supplies the adjacent side of third and fourth toe and the other one supplies the adjacent side of fourth and fifth toe. So the only uh, region of the toes which is not supplied by this nerve is the first interdigital cleft. That is the adjacent side of the big toe and the second toe is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve so we have to leave that region and study so that is all about the superficial peroneal nerve thank you for watching this video to see more videos on my channel please subscribe the channel thank you